Hey folks, uh, I'm just going to make a short video about getting uh, Harrison mix bus drivable via a MIDI controller under under Linux. Um, it's uh, not that hard once you know what you're doing, but of course you know what you're doing. It's the hard part. So uh, it took me a while to, to get it figured out, but I did. Um, uh, I'm not a musician by any stretch of the imagination. I'm, I'm just a, just a plonker, a hobbyist. And I um, uh, had a few beers one night and bought a MIDI controller of no particular purpose. So then I needed to something to play around with it in, and I tried a bunch of music programs out in Linux. And um, my friend Trace, who's a much better music, mu musician than I, recommended uh, Harrison's Mix Bus. Uh, and it just so happened that there was a sale on it for 20 bucks or Memorial Day, so I bought it and mess around a little bit with it but my main purpose with it was to sort of um you know be able to edit midi stuff and just make make some weird electronic music um which is probably not its its strongest suit but it was 20 bucks and whatever um so i had a i had a i didn't want to install all the requirements on my main pc uh because i do a bunch of video editing on, on it and stuff and it's having jack on there is not not all that fun. Um, so I had another, uh, my old laptop sitting around, which was perfectly capable of running this. Um, and I installed a fresh copy of Ubuntu Mate 1804 on it, which is what you're seeing here. Uh, and, you know, installed Mixbus, which then installed Jack. I installed QJack Kittle on it. And, um, you know, then I plugged in the MIDI controller, fired up Mixbus, and flailed for about eight hours. Um, and thankfully, I was able to suss out en enough information from a one particular video on YouTube, which I'll try to link down in the description below if I remember to. Um, thank you, guy whose name I forget at this point. Um, and also a post on the Ardor site. Uh, Mixbus, Harrison Mixbus is based on an uh, open source package named Ardor. So most of the most of the tips that you find in the Ardor forums will, will also be applicable to Mixbus. Um, in any case, I think I've gotten this system back to the state that I'm talking about where I had the controller plugged in and Mixbus didn't work. And I'm going to show you what the problem actually was, uh, just so you have some idea. Uh, don't just think I'm, I'm whining needlessly. Um, so... You know, I, I created this one project by adding a, this is a MIDI track, so you, you know, when you add tracks, you go down here, you select MIDI track. Um, and I figured, okay, well, I got my keyboard controller. Ain't nothing happening, dude. So what happened, or well, you know, as I found out, you know, I, I went on to YouTube and I, well, I searched Google and found a, a Harrison video that suggested that what you needed to do was to go into edit preferences um, control surfaces and then enable generic mini now this isn't i don't have this exactly the way it was because this was not enabled before but you know it's just that check mark and once you enable it then you have to configure it now in the harrison video uh once he enabled midi um he had a drop-down list of, of all his keyboard controllers. No no such luck here. So, um, okay, fine. Uh, that's when I found another video on YouTube um, that talked about this thing called A to J MIDI D, which is the bit of magic that allows Jack, uh, the Jack's sound server, uh, to talk to ALSA, which talks to the controller hardware, whatever. Um, and in order to get that installed, uh, what I had to do was, um, this app, get install a to J MIDI D and that only takes a moment. It's very small. <clears throat> now, um, Jack is, is running on this system, uh, but you can see I should have showed you this before. Um, that that app get install um, really had really had no effect on um, 
on our uh, configuration until I until I restart the, the server. Um, but as you notice, you know th this is this this is as if I did not just do this. You know, this is this is the same result would have been for me to come to the screen uh, before I had in, uh, sudo apt get installed uh, a to j mini d. Uh, and if you notice, you know. We don't, we don't, all we see is mix bus here. We don't see any of our controllers, but we know the controller is connected because over here we see that it, you know, this is, this is definitely that device. When I, when I unplug it and plug it back in, it's, it's, um, that's the device. So of course, uh, the, the A to J MIDI D thing, when you restart the Jack server, uh, I'll, I'll stop mix bus now. They're complaining at me. Um, yes, I do. Uh, now, now, once I restart the server, now that I've installed that A to J MIDI D, we go back to connect, and we see nothing. Why don't we see? Oh, do I need to refresh? Do I? Yes, man. Oh, I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was like, why? Why doesn't this work? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm reliving my, my frustrations. Uh, the reason that we still see no devices is that we have to go into setup here and um, we have to put a line in execute script after startup. And uh, let's see what this is. Yes, yes. Mm. It is this A to J MIDI D dash E ampersand. I'm pretty sure that the ampersands, um, I just carved culted this from this video. I'm pretty sure it's unnecessary, not unnecessary, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time at work, so I won't, I won't waste your time. Uh, so uh, once I do that and then restart the server, and stop it and start it again. Hey, now we see something new under our MIDI thing, which is this A to J thing. And we do indeed see our, see our controller. So that's what it takes to actually let Jack recognize uh, our hardware as a MIDI controller. So, so far, so good. We, we, we've gotten to the point where Jack at least knows that we have a MIDI controller connected. Uh, that's not quite the entire thing we have to do. Uh, now, if we start up Mixbus, <clears throat> and go back to where we were before and that the Harrison video told us to look at MIDI connections uh, nope that's not what I was looking for uh, go to um, ba -ba 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 preferences right preferences uh, control services now we can configure generic MIDI and now we see that yes oh good you know, we have, we, we can now select our, 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 our MIDI. Wonderful. So, uh, we do that. And now you'd figure, that once we have that stuff connected, that we'd be able to play our keyboard. No, that is not what happens. <coughs> we have to do one other thing in here. Well, actually, several other things, but you have to do this one thing. Uh, and basically just sort of say, okay, look, you know, connect the A to J system to our, to our input, make that green more or less. Now this may actually happen automatically when you switch between tracks. Um, I haven't done enough messing around with it, but I had, to, at some point I did have to go and check that. So if it's already checked for you, great, but you do have to do that. So now, now, right? Now. <laughs> nope. It was at this point that I almost gave up. I had just figured, okay, you know, I'm, I'm too dumb to do this. But I, I did a little bit more digging in, in a post by some kind soul on an order, order forum post. They, they and of course, I'm, I'm sure someone is just screaming at me now that, of course, uh, you know, of course it's not working. But, um, you know. I don't know this. Uh, you have to you have to enable monitoring input 
on this track. Um, and now hopefully, if demo gods are on my side, once I do that, Now we, we we can we you know before I before I push this we know that it's we know that the sound is working right yeah sounds working looks fine it's just that the MIDI controller wasn't working so yes those are the steps that you have to take to get your MIDI controller working under Mixbus four on Linux with Jack that's it thanks for watching.